this edition of On the Table. We're here near the kitchen at Long Point Estates. We're right in front of the Intercoastal Waterway with some beautiful docks going out into the waterway. I thought I'd do something local, fresh. We're going to do some mahi-mahi. What I'm going to do with this mahi-mahi today is we're going to do a pan-seared mahi-mahi with a fresh fruit coulis and a tropical fruit salsa. It's a very, very fresh, great tasting dish. Your friends will love. Best thing about it, very low calorie. It's really good for you, some fresh fish. And what I, I'm going to do today with this fish is I'm going to use a little bit of seasoning um, here from James Bain. Uh, he's making his own what they call surf salt. Absolutely wonderful. I love this uh, salt. He has six or seven different kind of sea salts here. They all have great flavors. Um, I'm going to use this one today from Jaws, the big surf spot, which has huge waves. Um, and we're going to use this sea salt just to sprinkle on the mahi mahi. You'll find the recipe online as you watch this video. So what we're going to start with is we're going to take the pureed fruit. We're going to add this to our pan. So what we have in this is a little pineapple, mango, uh, a little papaya, and also we are going to add just a touch of some local honey. This actually comes from Nature's Way, which is right up the road here in Pender County. A great place. They have uh, fresh honey. They have fresh um, goat cheese, fresh seafood, a lot of great things that we can get from there. A uh, really quick little side note on honey if you have bad allergies. If you could find someone that makes honey within a three mile radius of you, your allergies are actually cut down quite a bit um, from that honey. If you take a teaspoon a day, you'll be amazed how much. I started doing this and it is amazing how much my allergies have reduced just by the uh, eating a tablespoon of honey a day. Um, how much that will cut down your allergies. So just a side note, something that you can um, think about. So what I'm going to do with this fresh fruit, I'm just going to take a little bit of honey, probably about a tablespoon, add that to it, and I'm going to add a teaspoon of heavy cream that's just going to smooth out the coulis just a little bit. Like I said, this is a healthy dish. I don't want to really add a lot of fat grams to this. So we're going to add a little fresh cracked pepper and some salt. We're just going to mix that up. And what I did with that fruit, all I did is I put that in the blender. I put fresh mangoes, like I said, mangoes, papayas, pineapple, little orange juice, put that in a blender, let that puree, then just the, add the uh, cream and honey. You're going to have a great sauce right there. Very, very light and you let the natural flavors come out of um, all the sauce. And that's kind of why I want to heat that up just a little bit just to bring out those flavors. Then when it cools, all those flavors will marry together and uh, you'll see how it tastes when you make this dish. Okay, what we're going to do here is we're going to get our pan nice and hot. I want to pan sear that mahi-mahi. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of James Bain's surf salt here and we are going to just lightly sprinkle that. You don't want to overpower anything. Just a light sprinkle because what if you have a fresh product, what you really want to do is you want to let that fresh product just speak for itself. We're letting the pan heat up just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and put a little sesame oil in this pan. I just like the flavor of that and it's going to marry with just a little bit. Now be careful with uh, sesame oil. It has a very, very low smoking point and also has a very, very strong flavor. So do not use this like a vegetable oil or an olive oil, something like that, because it has a huge flavor. It will definitely flavor a, um, your dish. So while that's going, what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of pineapple. A little bit of diced red pepper little mango, little diced red onion, and diced papaya. I'm going to take a little bit of jerk seasoning, sprinkle that, little fresh chives, take a little rice wine vinegar, just a touch of sesame oil, 
a little bit of salt. That salt's going to start making everything release and marry together. And all you're going to do is just give that a little stir. And what I like to do is do this at least three or four hours before you serve it. That way you could have all the flavors marry. I've even made it the night before and it really, really is great because then a lot of the natural juices come out and you could also serve that with the coulis. So we'll let that just sit. You also want to make sure you give everything a taste, make sure your seasonings are adjusted well. Mm. That's already delicious. If you use a fresh product and fresh fruit and everything fresh, it really doesn't take long for it to taste absolutely delicious. So just keep that as a side note. Always cook fresh. Okay, so we have our sesame oil heated. Okay. I'm going to put that surf salt on one side and then on the other side just a little sprinkle of salt on the, on the back side of that. I don't want to put the surf salt uh, all the way around it because that will be way too much, um, way too much seasoning on the fish and you're, it's going to actually take away from some of the fresh flavor of that fish. While that's going, what we've done is I've made a little bit of a quinoa. It is a great, great product. You've probably heard about it. It's becoming very, very popular in the cooking world today. And what I did with this quinoa is I mixed this with a little green curry coconut sauce. I took a little bit of green curry, and I'll have this recipe online for you, but I took a little green curry, a little coconut milk, lime juice, just a little fish, um, fish sauce, which you can get at the Oriental markets, cilantro, put it all in a blender, and just blended it till everything was smooth. You can take that sauce, it keeps for about a week, week and a half. You can keep it in your refrigerator and just mix a little bit and it has a wonderful, wonderful flavor. So check that recipe out online for this. And I'll, uh, I have all the instructions on how to cook that quinoa, but it's a great, great source of protein. A lot of protein in this quinoa, so it's absolutely wonderful. So you just heat that up um, and I'll have the cooking instructions for that. What we did is we just uh, brought that back to heat here and then we're going to have the fish placed on top of that with the sauce. I'm going to take a little bit of this sauce here that we made. Almost picked up the wrong thing. I'm just going to drizzle that around the plate. We're going to flip this mahi. Okay. So I'm just going to let that cook on the other side. And we'll add that to the dish and that will be complete. So a very quick, easy, fast dish, a lot of fresh fruits. The biggest thing with this is preparation. Dicing the pineapple, the mango, the papaya, the onions, the peppers, that does take a little bit of time, but once you get good at doing all those specialty cuts, it'll be, it will take you no time at all. It's something that you could have, especially coming up with the school year for your kids. It's very, very healthy. It's good for them. They're gonna love things that are fresh and delicious and new. And I also, as I always say, bring them in the kitchen, help them, let, uh, you know, let them help you cook. So it's a really, really nice time with your kids. Okay, so our mahi-mahi is done right now. Take this and plate it. Okay, then we'll top this, the tropical fruit salsa. Then a little bit of garnish. I think what we'll do today is we'll take a little bit of a clementine orange, some of the juice that I added to it. Take a little pineapple sage. Little fresh basil, little edible flour there. Okay, so what we have here is a little pan-seared mahi-mahi 
Sprinkle that with a little bit of James Bain's surf salt. Thank you for joining this episode of On the Table. I hope you enjoyed this episode here on location, the Intercoastal Waterway. Please stay tuned next time. Find out where we're going to be on location somewhere new. Thank you. Have a great day.